Station forecast for summits above 4,000 feet in northern New Hampshire and western Maine. Tonight, summits obscured, lows 10 to 20. Northwest winds 65 to 75 miles per hour with gusts to 85 miles per hour. Wind chills are used as low as 20 below. Mount Washington in New Hampshire is known for extreme weather. In fact, it is the home of the world's worst weather. ...to 60 miles per hour, increasing to 65 to 85 miles per hour, with gusts up to 110 miles per hour. Wind chills will be falling to 45 below. Busted our tent right there, and uh, we're all digging right now. The day has finally arrived. I just received the official invite for ASW. We are going to Mount Washington, baby. Woo! game plan was to meet at Pinkham's Notch Visitor Center and hike three miles into base camp. Once there we would spend the night and wake up the next day to head towards Tuckerman's Ravine to practice alpine skills. The following day we would make our summit bid. The only thing standing between us and base camp was three miles of trail covered in snow and ice and a sled that weighed as much as a small human, filled with ropes, ice climbing gear, and tents that we had to bring with us. Upon reaching base camp, the reality of the conditions that we'd be spending the next four days in hit at home. Everything would be hard. Making food, fetching water, even going to the restroom would be a chore. For some, this was not their idea of fun. For the rest of us, adventure is what we signed up for, and adventure is exactly what we got. A climber from Plymouth is speaking out after surviving an avalanche on Mount Washington. Officials from the White Mountain National Forest say a 100-foot wide avalanche tore through Tuckerman Ravine Sunday afternoon, sweeping away six skiers and climbers. One of the survivors told News 9 he feels lucky to be alive. Less than 24 hours after our team had been practicing alpine skills at the base of Tuckerman's Ravine, an avalanche swept down that very same spot and took six climbers and skiers with it. A stark reminder that the mountain possesses a massive power that can be unleashed at any point in time. If it hadn't been for the Patsy leaders that took us on the trip and identified the conditions for the avalanche the day prior, there is a high likelihood that those six people could have been members of our team.
Thank <laughs> you.